Hello Crystal Souls, hope you're doing amazing. For this picky card, I'm going to be talking about who is coming towards you. If you are interested to book a reading with me, you have all the informations down below. Same thing if you want to follow me on social medias. And as you may know, you can get an early access on my next reading, so you can find all the informations right there. Alright, I think it is time to start your reading, so let's do it. So here is pile number one, pile number two and pile number three. When you are ready, you can find a timestamp in the comments down below. And make sure to stick until the end. I'm going to be using charms, stickers, messages and other techniques so you can get all the information that you're looking for. So if you need to meditate now and pause the video, please do so. So let's start with pile number one. Let's see what's coming towards you. Okay, so right away we have destiny here because we have the Wheel of Fortune. So that's showing me that this person that's coming your way is destined to be in your life. That is the flow, that's the push. And you may also feel it, you may feel like there's someone waiting for me, there's someone that's meant to be in my life. And this card is just showing you that this is the best time and the best direction if you think of someone. And so this person may actually make a move towards you because the wheel is about motion, so movement. So this person is craving for you, maybe watching you from the distance, as you can see with the eye right here. This could also be someone who is successful very passionate with a fire and very knowledgeable. Someone who may have a perspective of light that's very clear and very beautiful. This could also be someone who is very generous with the crystals. As for this one, I'm getting this as maybe someone who is from the West. I don't know, maybe that's a destination, but I'm also seeing three as a symbolic. So this could be about evolution and Omega. So these are all the symbols I'm seeing here for you. So this can be some hint for you guys, but this is someone you may know on a soul level at least. Um, and this person is making a move towards you very soon. That's what I'm seeing here. I mean, even the scars are now seeing that motion and movement because it's meant to happen. It is time for you to be with this person. So that's why you can see things changing, shifting. I'm sure you experienced that in your life before. Um, or you are experiencing that right now. You feel like everything is just changing, evolving, or pushing you in different direction. You may question yourself, you may question your life, you may question the things around yourself and make different choices. And this is for you to be prepared for this person to enter. So the chariot, the chariot is about victory, triumph, motion, travel. So that's why, I mean, with the wheel of fortune, this was talking about motion. You could see the motion with the wave and same thing with this one. So this shows this person that's coming towards you is coming while running to you or flying to you because they want to be around yourself. So with the boat appearing, this could be related to them taking some transportation to be with you. So that can be the boat, the train, it could be the car, it could be a plane, anything. But there is some motion here, so be prepared. As for this sign, this can be a cancer, but especially water energy, as you can see here, but we had fire um, and pretty much all of them are on this one, but especially water for now with the cards. And then we have the Knight of Cups. So it's just showing again this person that's determined to be into your life, that's wanting to make a move, that's wanting to confess to you. This it's probably a person from a past life, to be honest, because with the Wheel of Fortune, talking about destiny and fate, it's rather someone you met and connected to and bond in other lifetimes. And so you are reconnecting with this person in this lifetime. And with the photography and the book, that reminds me of someone who is meant to be in your life again, in your story again with the book. And I saw 444 while saying this. 444 is about your guides helping you on your quest or helping the both of you so you can be with each other. This is a message from them, your spirit guides and angels telling you we're working on this together, trust the process, trust ourselves because we are going to make a move or make that magic happen so you two can be together. I'm especially seeing autumn season here on this card and this is the season happening now in France. So if this is not the right season for you, if for example you are in spring, then that can be spring season for you because 
I feel like that's more from, from my perspective. And we talked about the divine timing being perfect for you too. So there is some type of movement or improvement in this relationship. And this person is truly wanting to be with you. I'm especially seeing a move from the masculine because the masculine is dreaming about the feminine. Okay, and it doesn't have to be masculine as a physical aspect. It can be in the energy of the soul. As for the next one, the Seven of Cups. So everything this person is wishing for is going to actualize. Because for me, this is about daydreams. This person thinks about you a lot of times. And you are one of their big wishes, one of their target and goals. So that's why this person is wanting to make a move and see a positive result connected to you and this person. So this connection is supported. I mean, you can see the spirits appearing on both cards, the destiny card. So that's a big yes. That's a big yes from your soul family, from your guides, higher self and angels. They want this relationship to manifest. And this could be a person that you dream about. You know, all the aspects, all the qualities that you dream about in a person, which is represented by all the cups, all these versions that you want or the things that you admire in someone, you will manifest out of this person that's coming your way. So expect your ideal person to come into your life. Seven again can be about July. So I'm not sure if this is a person that's born in July or you may be a Cancer. It can also be Cancer or July can also be Leo energy. And we had water, 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 water. I mean, it's all about water here. But of course, if you are not a water sign and if they are not a water sign, this can be about the energy between you two. Water is about emotion. So expressing their emotions to you, their feelings to you. That's the big symbolic here. But they're working on this I don't know, this plan to make a move to seduce you. They're studying you from the distance with the books. Whoops. Dreaming about you. This is, I mean, it's obvious to me and I'm sure you can see it or feel it and experience it. You may see that there is someone here kind of watching you from the distance or just wanting to be in your life or being around you all the time. That's this person I'm talking about. This is a person who's very free free and inspiring. This could be a person that's a bit shy, you know, the way that Dobby is a bit shy about this on magic or is on self. That can be the energy that emanates from a person or you feel like they are that way. But this is just because that may be the beginning in that transition or in that relationship. So in the beginning, they may actually not want to show everything about themselves. They may be a bit shy, but when feeling comfortable and secure around yourself, they will open up fully to you. So expect someone who is going to be a bit mysterious, you know, you like the more you get to know them, the more you want to know about them protection and they will offer yourself protection they will be here guiding you especially in dark time with expectro patronum so that is a person that has this powerful aura this powerful energy and you can feel it even from the distance you can meet this person in dreams because you know this is a spirit aspect or the spell aspect of it so the light is bursting through your universe and you can recognize it and feel it. So if you haven't met this person yet, it could be that this illustration is telling you that you have met this person before. So rather in past life, like we talked about before, or this could be meeting this person beyond this reality, beyond the 3D. So you're feeling their spirit or you feel their souls calling you especially. So that's why they feel the urge now to make that happen in the 3D so you can be together. Step by step. And that's a process. And this is exciting as well in the process because you will get to know each other step by step, taking your time. With the birds flying away, I'm especially seeing this as them especially making a move or traveling to you. So if you've been waiting for the opportunity to travel to travel, or if they've been waiting for the opportunity to travel to you, this may happen very soon. I feel like there will be some type of opening or opportunity so they can actually make a move towards you, which is what the steps are talking about. 
So there's some improvement that is being announced in this relationship, in this connection, with the two stars in the cage, in the cages. This shows me that you two are still in separation, or there is some type of separation or wait in the process. But this is not meant to be this way. There is a contract here. Yes, and the next card is also showing a contract. So there is a spiritual contract which is about destiny and fate, right? And this contract is showing that you two, no matter the situation, no matter what is happening in your reality, nothing and no one is going to stop that union to manifest. Not even yourself, okay? Because I feel like there is something that's beyond what you expect. And now if you think about someone and you're like, no way, then that's not the person I'm talking about. Because you should be excited. You should be waiting for this person. You should be dreaming about the person and feeling good to welcome this one. So this is not a person you want to reject. This is not a person that's not meant to be in your life. That's a person you're waiting for. Whether you're aware of this or not. All right? Because there is a spiritual contract between you two. There is a spiritual connection that's pushing the buff of you so you two are magnetic. And so that will actualize and manifest. So again, that contract being shown here. With the peach and the half right here, this could be telling you that this person is going to be your perfect half. You've been waiting for a completion or you've been waiting for someone who is going to complete yourself or support yourself in that aspect so you can feel more like yourself or more whole. See? So in my opinion, that's talking about that feeling of feeling more complete thanks to this person. But be aware, I feel like there's something bigger to the picture with this person. There is probably a spiritual mission, uh, a spiritual bond right here. And this will feel like family to be around the person. So just... You know, when meeting people around you, just try to feel the energy. Because I feel the energy is going to speak a lot more louder than their physical aspect or appearance, for example. So the next cards are going to be showing places. So this could be places you meet this person. This could be, I don't know, the symbolic connected to that relationship or that person. So first of all, we have vegetable. So this could be a person that's enjoying fruits or maybe you meet this person while going shopping, grocery shopping especially here. I don't know, this can be a symbolic for you. Let me see, we have carrots, pumpkins, and we have some cells. Yeah, I mean, this could be about their taste when it comes to meals. Um, this, could be, this could also be a vegan, that's especially what I'm getting here. Well, this can be just preparing some food to later on inviting this person. So shopping to invite you at home and cooking for you, for example, instead of going to the restaurant. As for this one, this shows especially a coffee shop or a tea shop, a bar, a cafe, that type of place. So this can be going on a first date in that place or that can be the atmosphere of the person. So someone that feels cozy, um, some environment that's relaxing or just the vibe of the person that's relaxing and chill. There's a lot of green as well, you know, with the plants, with the veggies right here. So this could be a person that's very like that knows the importance of the climate, uh, the things evolving on Earth, the planet evolving, ascending, the conscious of everyone being connected, being one, being whole, you know, all of that. So this could be a person that's spiritually involved um, in actions, in missions, or just wanting to better the world, to take care about the planet, the Earth, especially, because that's the vibe I'm getting here. So if that's something that's very important for you, then you are matching the energy. All right, so now a couple of cards. And we talked about this, this person shopping so you can be having a meal at home. So, I mean, that's just announcing this again. Maybe you want to feel cozy at home, cooking for each other, or waking, waking up next to each other because they are eating breakfast here. 
and not really caring about their appearance. So I'm seeing this love as something a lot more profound. You're not really wanting to be with someone because they look good or they, their body is so impressive and seductive. No, it's beyond it. You know, it, it's something that's going to transcend your soul. It's a person that's going to make you feel comfortable, that's going to have fun with you. It may joke around a lot, especially, because, yeah, that's someone who is relaxed, peaceful, who wants something like this in a relationship as well. So you may be the best match. And I, I can see the clock again. So, you know, with the compass and the clock... I feel like there's some divine timing and direction that's being shown into your reality. So if, for example, you see on the TV a country that pop it, that's popping a lot of times, then that can be telling you that's where this person lives or that's this direction you are meant to be traveling to so you two can meet or there is some type of, you know, mystery and magic behind all of this. Yes, we talked about transportation and I'm not even surprised to see this on the scene. So maybe, yes, you meet this person while going to school, while going to work, I don't know. So that can be in transportation. So a bus, a train, on the car, maybe you see them outside when you drive. I don't know, but I feel like this is a person that's actually going to be around you soon or that may be around you already because i feel like there's some distance for some but for the other like other people this may be someone you meet every single day or almost every single day meet or see every single day so the energy between you two is going to be wild <laughs> wild you know there's some desire but there is also a shy type of energy here in the beginning, that may be a bit awkward or uncomfortable to make a move, but still, like, he may be the one that's introducing the flow, <laughs> introducing that love, and this may be a bit... Uh, I'm not finding the word, but you know, when it's your first time, it's not perfect, but it's still good, you know? So like, that's the type of energy I'm getting here. Smile. Yes, they want to make you happy. This person wants to make you happy. This could also be a photographer, because you can see him taking pictures right here. We have we, look, and wedding. So that can be announcing a wedding. Maybe meeting at a wedding as well, or this can be, you know, mirroring each other later on because you two are perfect. And with the balloons, I'm seeing this as fun, celebration. So that can be meeting this person at a party, birthday party, wedding party, I don't know, but this can be some hint for some of you. Or maybe that's the environment they work um, on. Like they can be a photographer at weddings or at events or something like this. And the next scene, this could be happening especially, I mean we saw autumn season and this is more about winter season. Especially New Year celebration. I don't know, I feel like there's some type of celebration. So if not with an event, this could be related to the celebration when being with each other. So now a message. And again, you can see the steps on this one. So there is definitely a type of... Like things between you two is going to go one step at a time. It's going to be smooth. It's going to be about enjoying each step of the way. So as for the message, I have searched a thousand years and I have cried a thousand tears. All oh, right. So I feel that's again related to like that type of connection from the past, from a past life. A thousand years. You've been there for so many incarnations and that's why you feel, okay, that lifetime again is going to be about us. It's going to be about desiring each other or being one, like, it's gonna be us, it's gonna be our story, it's gonna be our chance to be together. Chance because you can see the lucky clovers. So yes, I mean, that's the vibe I'm getting here. I feel like this is kind of an open door from spirits and the steps are leading you towards this perfect union. And I love that these connect so much. You can see the steps, right? But also the bird. So this relationship is going to allow yourself to free yourself 
spiritually, to feel connected on a soul level to this person. Okay, so I'm gonna be continuing now with messages. So this can be hints or messages this person is wanting to say to you. Okay, so I have three of them. Money flows easily to me. And we talked about someone who is successful, so that can be belated. As for the next one. I love myself, I accept myself, I forgive myself. So these can be affirmations for you to do the healing. Because if you're not ready to be in a relationship, so if you don't love yourself enough, if you do not accept yourself enough, if you don't forgive yourself for something that happened, or if you blame yourself all the time, then that shows you are not ready for this union. So work on yourself, that's very important. They may be doing the same as well, so they can be ready. My answer will always be a huge smile if anyone asks me, I'm doing, and you're doing great. They may be doing great as well. They may be very happy and proud of what they've built or what they will be building for the future. Okay, so I'm going to be moving now these cards and using the other techniques. So first, starting with this grid, I wanted to use this one to know maybe more information about their zodiac. So let's see, right away, maybe the zodiac of this person. So this can be a Libra, a Scorpio, a Sagittarius and a Taurus. These are especially the ones that popped, but we talked about water signs, so include that as well. Okay, so let's move on with the next techniques and starting with the charms and then the stickers. So let's see. So some hints or maybe a name, a place that can be popping. We have China right away. We have love and the universe supporting you to manifest this love. I mean, we talked about destiny, so I'm not surprised. You are supported, so this can be manifesting. With the starfish, this talks about success. So that can be a person that's successful. So let's see, we have S, S, E, Q, Y, H, W, K, I. I'm not seeing a word or anything. I heard soul contract for this one. So there is some type of soul contract. As for the numbers I'm seeing, one is about new beginning. You can see 111 or 1111 with the numbers pretty often. You can see 444 and I saw it on the microphone. So, I mean, yes. <laughs> 10 is about completion and five is about magic and change. So that's the big symbolic. With this, <laughs> I heard sensei. Um, so that may be a professor, a student type of relationship. I don't know, but someone that is meant to be teaching you a lot of things. So this is about freedom. Freedom, you need to free yourself so you can be in this relationship. So if you are with someone, for example, that you do not like anymore, then that's telling you to move away from this relationship. Whether you are in the 3D with this person or still in your mind connected to a past relationship. So if you think about an ex or if you want to reconnect with an ex or think about this one very often, then you're not giving space for the new to enter. And this is about something that's going to stick to you. So this person may want to stick to you, stay with you. So this is a committed relationship. I mean, we saw four appearing and four is about stability, commitment. So that's what is coming. All right, so let's move on with the stickers and see what's coming who is coming towards you okay right away something popped okay there's a dna which i like because i feel this is a person from your soul family so there's some type of soul dna this can be a person on the internet we have the wi-fi so someone you can talk to on social medias or somewhere on the internet. Yeah. 
I love that this person may be a foodie, like really enjoying food, dreaming about food, talking about food. This could also be a, a cook, for example. There's some type of rage to not be together. This person may be dreaming to be with you, trying to charm yourself, to be around yourself. This may be a person that's very crafty with a calendar appearing on this one. It shows me that the divine timing is very important when it comes to that connection. As for the message, you are more than what you have become from the Lion King. This one popped in another reading I did not too long ago. So we have sorry. Maybe they feel sorry that you're not together right now, but they are making a move. They have a cheerful energy as well, like very fun, full of vibe, like good vibe. Like, yeah, that's a person who wants to make people have a good time, who may want to entertain others, who may just want to make fun all the time or just have fun all the time. This could be a dancer as well or someone that's practicing and dancing. Uh, or teaching dance because we had sensei before Fiji again like we saw China I think this is Japanese this is a person from a Korean band Junae so I don't know maybe that's some hints you know if you feel the urge to travel to Asia then that can be a hint for you or if not then that can that can be a person that's Asian around yourself if you are attracted by Asian or if you're so is wanting to connect with this person, because we talked about attraction not from the eyes, but from your soul. So be open, but this can be in the energy. All right, so it doesn't have to be so rigid, okay, with the image. So this is all I can see here for you with the stickers. So I hope you like this reading and that you got more clarity about who is coming your way, who is flying your way, just like this butterfly. I wish you the best in your quest, in your love life. And if you're new, make sure to subscribe to my channel. You can check my other readings as well. I have a lot of them on this channel. And I will see you very soon. Bye-bye. So pile number two, let's see who is coming towards you. So starting with the Ace of Branches. So right away, this is a person that's passionate, who may be doing what they love for a living, a passion of them, something they're very skilled and talented about. That's a master for me, a master of what they do, a master of what they say, a master of everything, pretty much. Same thing when it comes to love, because with a branch and this one growing, that shows that this feeling, this excitement, this passion within the heart, when they think about you, is immense, grand, huge, and this is growing every single day. So this person may feel the urge right now to start this new beginning with you. The ace is a new beginning, as you may know. So they are just feeling that calling to connect with you, to shine with you. I mean, you can see all the energy around. With a circle appearing on this card, I'm seeing this as protection. Yes, they want to grow with you. Yes, they want to connect with you. But they're going to make a move if they feel safe, if they feel welcomed. Otherwise, they may protect themselves. They may just retract or stay in their cocoon. They may observe yourself from the distance. Of course, if they do not feel safe. For the rest, if you welcome them, if you have a very welcoming energy and aura and soul, they will just feel the, the ease to connect with you. As for this one, the Eight of Vessels. The Eight of Cups is related to feeling hopeless, wanting to give up as well. And this is what I talked about. You know, we talked about someone who wants to feel protected, who wants to feel secure and comfortable and welcomed. So if you just push them away, or if your energy tells them that, like, for example, you attract yourself from people, you may not really go outside so much, or you may actually say no when they ask you for a date, or if they just ask you to come out with them, or to accompany them in different, I don't know, in different events or something like this, then they may feel, I'm not sure this can work with this person. I'm not sure this person is really wanting to give myself a chance or give myself space so I can prove myself that I 
I'm worthy enough. I can give her joy, happiness, comfort, security, growth, excitement, beautiful days together because that's what I'm getting here with the energy. So try to work on yourself. Are you welcoming enough? Are you open enough to welcome someone? If not, it's fine, okay? We all go through these phases or moods. So it's all about welcoming it, understanding why do I feel this way? Or why do I feel the need to protect myself? Is it because of a past that is not healed? Is it because of a trauma, a memory, a program in my subconscious mind that I'm not, I'm not completely aware of? And so subconsciously I'm reacting to situations or treatment or people around me that are brushing them away. And I'm not supposed to be pushing anyone away right now. I'm supposed to be welcoming. I'm supposed to be happy. I'm supposed to be connecting with people. All right? And with all the potions you can see with the ties, that shows you are meant to bond at this precise moment. And this person is craving for that connection. So are you ready? If not, that's fine, but you may also lose this person because this person is trying their best to be connecting with you. So of course, in the beginning, they may be okay if you reject them, but in the long run, they may just give up. Okay, so try to make this person aware if you don't want to lose them. But if you need some time, they will understand that. But if they're not aware, they may just see that you are just rejecting them because you're not interested. As for the three of wands, this one is about attraction and attracting something that you want as a result. So that's why don't shoot the delivery man. There may be someone who's wanting to come, delivering you their love. Or that can be a person, a friend that's telling you, this person is always looking at you, pay attention. This person is wanting to be into your life. That may be the one. Give this person a chance. Go on a date. Prepare yourself. Treat yourself. And then, you know, try it. But you may be like, nah, I don't know. I just want to stay at home. Or I don't feel comfortable. Or maybe I'm not ready. Or you're just finding yourself ex excuses, in my opinion. For the majority of you. And no offense, it's fine. I'm there with you guys. So not judgy here. I just want you to be aware why you are limiting yourself. Or some of you are limiting themselves. Because that may not be for everybody here. So it's time for you to welcome Welcome this person. We have the fire going on, fire energy with the wand. Two times, okay, we have water energy. So this can be related to the zodiac of this person or your zodiac energy. It all depends and all the message can be connecting with your energy. For example, if you are a water sign and you feel like, yes, I've been kind of pushing people away and I want to, I don't know, just stay alone, then that may be your energy, all right? But yeah, for this one, Remind yourself that you are super attractive and you deserve love. You deserve your cup to be full. She's drinking tea or coffee right here. So you're serving yourself first, which is really good. And you should do that. But you also should welcome offers from other people. External offers, which is why you can see the delivery men. There's something, someone that's very attracted to you that's wanting to be around you, that's wanting to share moments with you, okay? So let that passion burn, let it happen, celebrate it, be excited because you deserve it. And I believe this person is your perfect match, especially if you liked the energy on the eyes of branches because that is just shining, shining. Um, that's a comfortable energy. That's something that's going to allow yourself to be authentic around a person. That's a person you don't have to pretend when being around this person. There is the frame appearing here. So that can also be a hint that this person that's wanting to be with you, that's coming towards you, is your ideal person. That's the person you picture in your dreams. That's the person you may daydream about all the time or just think about all the time. Okay, so I, I feel that's the right person, to be honest. So, with the Page of Pentacles. The Page of Pentacles is someone who is dedicated, who is offering you anything that you desire, to be honest. Especially materially, they are going to be very generous, very hardworking. 
Maybe someone was working on the internet or connecting with you on the internet with a computer. So yeah, maybe that's the person that's watching you from the distance, especially if they feel like she is or he is out of reach. So I don't know how to reach this person, but they will find a way. They'll find the courage to do it. The page is someone who is always searching for opportunities. So just telling you, this person is going to see you as perfection and the ideal person. And I feel like that's also the way you will see this person. So that's why they will see, okay, maybe there's a block, there's something I'm not aware of. Maybe I feel rejected or I feel like the energy is not there yet, but I'm not going to give up. I'm going to give myself a fair chance so I can see if this is a real open door or a real rejection. But first, they will test the water. They will try to work and collaborate with you in that connection and relationship. But this can also be a person that's working with you. Could be a delivery man, who knows? <laughs> um, or someone that's writing to you very soon. Because the delivery man can be the third person that's interacting in your reality so you two can meet. So for example, the delivery man can be Instagram, connecting, messaging each other on Instagram. The delivery man can be a friend, presenting you to another friend and then suddenly you fall in love. You know, so try to see <laughs> what could be that opportunity for you two to be bonding and connecting especially. But I feel for the majority of you, this may be on the internet, but this can also be at work work or study place, like university, school, mm, or classes you take, like dance classes or going to the gym and then suddenly you just meet this person, which is very strong looking on this one. So they may work hard on their passion and their dreams, but they work hard with their body. They, they really take time and the effort to work on building themselves and to feel healthy. Protector. Yes, and we talked about this energy, you know, with the, the circle all around. There is some protection, but they also want to make people enter their circle so they will protect themselves. All of them, their friends, family members, yourself, they will want to protect yourself. So you can feel secure. So you can feel, you know, that sense of security, that sense of safety around this person. And not just with, you know, body protection. It's about emotional protection, mental protection, spiritual protection. You just feel safe on all levels with this person. And that comes from true love. Otherwise, this person wouldn't be interested to just invest their time in protecting you. Symbols. So you may receive a lot of synchronicities or see a lot of synchronicities like angel numbers, maybe a name that's appearing, a place that's appearing all the time in movies or you just hear it in music. Like that's some type of <laughs> loud message from spirits because they want you to pay attention. They want you to notice this person coming your way. They want you to notice the symbolic or the synchronicities so you can be ready and prepared to welcome this person. So anything you've been seeing or hearing or experiencing repeatedly, if you meet someone every single time, every single day, and you feel attracted, but you never talk to each other, that's telling you, give yourself permission to come towards this person. Because sometimes people feel like, I have to wait for this person to make a move, but sometimes you have to be the one that's delivering the message that's introducing that relationship. So if you feel the urge to do so, because you feel like that's important or this person may be important, otherwise I wouldn't see this person or feel attracted so much about someone I don't even know. So that may be a message for some of you. If you feel guided to do so, because that's about the symbolic, the symbols you receive. If you feel guided to do that first move, to make that first move, Go ahead. Dreams. So you can be dreaming about the person or they can be dreaming about you. Doesn't have to be just sleep, dreams, um, but this can be about 
thinking about you a lot, always having you on their mind. They, yeah, I feel they're just a bit obsessed about you. Not in a way that's unhealthy, but they dream about you all the time. They just enjoy, you know, thinking about you and just within their heart because that's what fuels them. That's what makes them feel balanced and supported or alive, really. Because with a branch supporting all of them, that's what I'm getting. A sense of feeling supported, a sense of feeling alive for something good, for a deep reason, a meaningful reason. But of course, this could be a person that's interacting with you in dreams. So pay attention to them. That can be it. In dreams or meditation, because I feel like that's about relaxing time, when you are connected to your spirit or the spiritual realms, which is when spirit guides communicate with you. I mean, we talked about communication, an envelope being delivered as a message. And again, we have that message popping. And with a drink, that can be about them offering you to go on a date, maybe to have a drink or something like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's especially here. What I'm getting. Confession, a date, a proposition to go on a date or to just spend more time together because that can be at home as well or just spending more time on the internet connecting with each other so the next ones are going to be places so these can be places you two are going to meet each other go on a date with each other or this can be the atmosphere connected to the person so first we have hamburger so that could be a restaurant. If not a fast food, this can be a fancy restaurant. It all depends what you like, what you enjoy. But of course, you know, it doesn't have to be something too fancy in the beginning. You just want to get to know each other. So this can just be like, yes, eating some fast food or just eating something not too special in the beginning. And then after being friends, then you can be each other's lovers. So that can be like it. Yes, and we talked about that because I saw that house scene and here it is. So maybe meeting each other at home, inviting this person at home, or they may invite yourself in their place, at their place. So for the symbolics, we have a TV, so that can be about vision. That can be someone who is maybe doing something on screens because we had the computer, the TV, so, I don't know, that can be an actor, that can be a YouTuber, that can be someone that entertain people on stage, maybe, or something like that. Because we talked about someone who's truly passionate about what they do. So you can find that passion or this person that's passionate on screens. There is the radio as well, so that can be music mm, and the road. They can be giving you their address. So when you feel ready, you can meet them at their place. And if not at their home, this can be where they work as well. So now a couple cards. So let's see the energy between you two. So going on the picnic again, we can see the computer. I mean, that's very loud that's very clear <laughs> so that can be collaborating together or just spending time together when working on different projects i'm saying someone who is writing someone may be working on the internet or on computers so for example it can be a youtuber and you can be a writer or they can be a singer and you can be a painter but i'm especially seeing someone who may be very creative if not an artist also that's the big vibe i'm getting here this is a person that's doing magic with their creation. That can be a boss, that can be an entrepreneur, that can be someone who's doing good with healing things, you know, with the potions, I mean, potions or remedies that can be related to health. We had cooking as well with that. You know, everything is going to be very personal, so Maybe one place is just going to speak to you and then the other ones may just be for someone else. But especially spending time in nature, enjoying each other's presence. And that's it. As for the next one, I love this one because, you know, in front of each other, they are too shy. But 
what they are really wanting and is to kiss each other because you can see it in the mirror so that shows the mirror of the soul what the soul is truly craving for so of course it's about making a move slowly so then you can get that result later on the seasons i'm seeing here especially so we had spring we have hotem on this one if you can see it <laughs> Um, what else? We had, I think this is more winter right here. Yeah, especially winter, spring and autumn popping. Whispers. And the whispers can also be what we talked about with synchronicities or messages you hear from spirit guides. But this is about sharing each other's secret because you feel safe, because you feel like you can be your authentic self around someone. They may feel that ease when being around yourself, that comfort especially. Marriage, I mean, <laughs> so if you are dreaming about your life partner, a husband or a wife, then that's what is coming your way. This is a person who wants commitment. If you don't want to be married to someone, it's fine. That's just about safety, building a strong foundation with someone. And so you know that this relationship is going to impact your life, impact yourself and change your life for something a lot more better. Okay, and there is some distance here. So it doesn't have to be too far away when I'm talking about distance, but this is about calling each other. So, but I feel, yes, for some of you, this may be a long distance relationship because right there, it's night time and on the other one, it's daytime. So it could be different countries. But now, like, what is distance with airplanes? Like in a few hours, you can be on the opposite side of the globe. So, you know, nothing is impossible right now with our world. So we are very lucky to experience that. So calling each other, talking to each other, connecting this way, maybe in the beginning and then, you know, traveling to each other and spending time together. So now the message for this group. You make me feel so happy whenever I'm with you. You make me feel so special. That's beautiful. So let's see more messages now. Maybe from the person, from your guides, and advice. Let's see. Okay, so first of all, a winner is someone who gets up one more time when he's knocked down. A, truth, a trustful eyes looking straight into his. Your gaze, your eyes may have a powerful energy, which is very attractive to this person. I am grounded, I am loved, I am enough. So these can be affirmations you may repeat every, every time you feel like it. I'm grounded, I'm loved, I'm enough. Which prepare yourself for this beautiful relationship. All this pain, it will teach you everything worth knowing. Together we will lead, we are here to inspire. So we can be doing something very inspiring for the mass, for the people. Do less with more focus. You don't always need a plan. Sometimes you just need to, to breathe, trust, let go and see. You just need to breathe, trust, let go and see. I like that. This is beautiful. All right, so I'm going to be moving these aside and starting with the other techniques. So first, I'm going to be using this grid so we can get more information about the zodiac sign of this person or the energy connected to the zodiac. So let's see. Okay, so first we have Leo. This is also connected to Cancer. We have Pisces, Sagittarius and Capricorn especially. So that's in the energy. So let's move on and use the stickers and charms for more information. So starting with the charms.
Okay, we have a lot of things. We have why, cool, play, USA, idea, and world. Oh, week and love. This one is loud. So these can be some hint indication. So that can be someone who's playful, cool. You may question yourself or they may question themselves like why, like can't I just reach this person or what can I do, you know? B, C. So these can be like words you may see or this can be related to initials from a name or names, places. Let me see if I see anything. I'm seeing we. So that's about being together. Doctor. B, C. Hmm. I don't know, but this is all I'm getting here. So we talked about someone who may be in the health industry. So that can be someone you see as a doctor or who has this very strong healing energy. We have soldier here. I love my soldier. So this can be some hints. All right, I sh I'll show you in a sec. Oh, I love that. Same octopus, but having this like this distinct energy, which is Feminine and masculine, yin and yang type of energy. This reminds me of twin flames for the dolphins. And there is also like the same type of mirrored person here. Or you can be seeing yourself in this person. Seeing yourself in their past, in their story, in their energy, in their personality and everything. Maybe the passion of yours, anything you do... Mm, rather it's a hobby or your work or studies it's going to be very similar as a symbolic i feel your soul is, is still processing this relationship or that connection with the spoon this can be about providing to someone offering something to someone your angels are also working on this union on this love as you can see this can be about fashion we had so many hints today, like doctor, fashion, soldier, and we saw someone entertaining, maybe on the internet, maybe working at a restaurant. I mean, with a spoon, that's loud here. And I'm sure some may be like, yeah, that's the person. Yeah, that's the one. I know exactly who you're talking about. And I'm sure you'll feel it. All right, this is about freedom. This is about sticking to something. If you want result, you need to stick to it. If you want this relationship to work, you need to also show that you have interest in making this one work. With the dolphin, that can be about telepathy as well. And yes, mirrored energy, mirrored life, mirrored personality. You two may be the same, but in different bodies. See? Which is why I'm seeing twin souls, soulmates. I don't know, a crazy connection or just feeling so scared but amazed on how similar your life may be, on how similar you choose vision or perspective about the world or things you are animated about may be similar. So this is all I can see here. Let's move on now with the stickers. Oh, let's put these away. But yeah, the energy... I mean, this group is very detailed, I can tell. There is a lot of hint, a lot of directions as well, so this can talk for everybody, which is good. Okay, so let's see with the stickers now. Okay, there is, I mean, we have the envelope and my love written on this one. Become one, I mean, this is so twin flame like to be honest and I know a lot of people are not in a twin flame journey they may not understand but just take what is for you yes and we have again dense entertainment mm, they may feel a bit like they are at their worst sometimes they may feel a bit moody because if they're not around yourself or if they feel like they cannot get you they may just feel a bit desperate and moody but they want to be around yourself. They may dream to kiss yourself, to spend more time with you, to message you. If they still are a bit shy to connect with you. There is love with the rose as well. So this is about confession, connection, true love. You are more than what you have become from the Lion King. So that can also be related to maybe when this person is born. So this is in 
1994, so maybe in the 90s, grounding, they feel grounded around yourself. They feel like one because they can recognize themselves within yourself. And again, dance. I feel there's some type of entertainment or some deep passion of yours. You two are very passionate. This is what I can tell. So this is your message. I hope you like this reading. Let me know in the comments down below what you think. If you're new, make sure to join our beautiful family and subscribe down below. You can check my other readings. I have a lot of them on this channel. And I will see you on the next one. Bye-bye. And group number three, let's see who's coming towards you. So first, we have the Maiden of Vessels. So this is about a new opportunity for you. That's a person who has enough to give, especially someone who is emotionally in tune, who is very generous, who is very wise, mature as well. That's a person who wants to give their all to you. Like when they have something, they, want, they may be thinking to buy you a gift, they may be thinking to spend more time with you. Like any type of opportunities that work for them, they see this as something they can share with you. That's someone who is abundant. That's someone who is always thinking to serve yourself, to provide to yourself. They want to love you. They want to be with you. They want to be around you. They want to protect yourself as well because the way she's holding the vase, that shows me care. Like care, mother type, protection. Um, yeah, they just want to be holding you holding you in life as a symbolic, meaning supporting yourself, always being here for you, always being a listener to you, always being here if you need something materially, um, emotionally, physically, spiritually, mentally, they will be here. And they want to, they want to play that role, they want to play that part into your life because they feel like they, they have enough to give and they know that they are enough, they're whole, they're complete, they're stable, which is what makes them available to offer to you. And they want to, they want to be connecting with you. I mean, look at this. We have the world appearing right there. The world is about completion and I saw one, one, one on the microphone. It's beautiful and divine because that shows this new beginning between you two that's going to start. It's something that's going to feel so powerful. The world is about connection. The world is about completion. The world is about feeling this intense desire to do good, to feel good, to connect. Okay? So in my opinion, when meeting this person, you'll feel like a new person. You'll feel so inspired. You'll feel like you're shaking. You can see the motion of the wave here. So that shows there's some motion, movement. They may want to make a move pretty soon or start to make a move because they want to be giving to you. They want to confess to you. They want to spend time with you. They want to be here all the time in all events of your life, you know, experiences as well. So the moment you will say yes, just expect this person to be here every single day for you. Unless you don't like it, they, they may understand that, but they really want to be sharing their life, their time with you. And that's boss type of energy. You know, this is not a person that's needy. That's not a person that's going to crave you because they need something. They have all the things that they want. They can achieve and attract everything that they like they desire. So that's why this person is not coming to you in a way that's going to be greedy or that's going to be satisfying a part of their ego. No, they have everything they want and they see you as an equal. They see you as a queen, as a king and that's why they want to be around yourself. So be aware you are attracting this person, this king or this queen this boss, this person that knows how to direct his or her life, how to make a success, how to have a valuable time with people, how to lead people, because that's a leader here. That's someone who knows how to make things work and they want to make it work with you. So they may find a strategy, they may talk to their friends or co-workers about yourself because like when they think about you, they feel energized, they feel good, they feel powerful. I don't know, this is just a feeling that 
makes them so comfortable when thinking about yourself. That's why they want to be around you. That's why they're finding a strategy to be in your life, to be connecting with you. Because that's something that's important for them. I mean, look at this. <laughs> we have the lovers, so you two are meant to be. The lovers for me are destined people. They are meant to be with each other. They're perfect for each other. That's why they're being led towards each other. That's something you may not be able to resist because this is perfection. This is something you were waiting for all your life. That's like Prince Charming or Princess Charming entering your life and you're like, that's the one. I cannot, I cannot stop it. I'm thinking of this person every single day. I want to be around this person. I love this person. That's something I've never felt before. You may feel this way and they're feeling this way already. Otherwise, this wouldn't be that strong. You may not know this person is for some people. They may be at a different place, maybe in a different country. With the world, everything is possible. That can be talking about distance. That can be talking about someone who is far from you, but still aware that you are here. Or still aware that, you know, that's the one I want to be with. Because their soul is feeling it. Or they can be seeing you on the internet, for example, and they're like, that's the one. That's the one. So, I don't know, you, you will just feel it. It's in the energy, it's in the soul, and that's something very pure. And this is meant to be, that's part of fate. So you will want to make a move together. You will want to get a house or to rent a place so you can be in your own cocoon, so you can be growing together, so you can actually feel like family and live like one, especially. But of course, this can be talking about a neighbor or someone that is wanting to make a move, or this can be in the symbolic with buying a house, someone who wants to get their own place, someone is planning to buy a house and if they talk about it, that can be the hint for you to know who is this person. And that's a person who is confident and you could see it, I mean that's a boss, that's a leader, that's a queen or a king here, so of course they will be confident, they'll be strong, they'll be courageous. And with the window here, this could be someone you see at a window maybe. <laughs> or you know, when you are on the bus, then you suddenly look around and then you see this person. Or it could be that you are um, at a class, in your room, at school, and then you look at the opposite side of the building and you see this person. Or for example, you look at the window where you work on at the office and then you see this person. It, that can be very symbolic here. So. Pay attention to everything. Secret places. All right, so maybe you can meet this person in a, in a secret place. Or you will want this relationship to stay secret. Because that's also what I'm getting here. But with the map, with the world, this can be about distance. Distance doesn't have to be too far. This can also be emotional distance. This can be mental distance. It doesn't have to be always physical distance. All right, so it's very symbolic. But with secret places, that's about moving to a secret place. Maybe going to a secret rendezvous or just keep it, keeping that for yourself. Especially if you're seen as someone who is a boss, who is a leader. You know, you may not want to open up about your privacy to everybody. So that's why you may actually want to test the water to see how this relationship works. And then when things are serious, you will talk about it to everybody. <laughs> you know, that's the type of energy here. The path. With the lovers, that's very connected. Because the path is about sharing the same path, having the same mission, having the same calling on life, on earth. So, for example, if you like being a leader, because that's what I'm getting here, being a boss lady, they may be very interested about sales or they may be interested about businesses. Um, maybe they are in real estates as well, because that's what you could see here. You know, that may be the same type of interest, having the same type of desires. Um, your goals may be very similar. Anything you achieved before may be very similar. Your past could be very similar as well. So there's some type of reflection and recognition when meeting the person, which is what makes the both of you actually perfect to
to be with each other. Yes, and that is about introducing yourself to the person. So they may write to you, they may want to communicate with you. They will find a way. Trust me, they are finding or trying to find a strategy to connect with you. This could also be about scripting. Because you can see this man taking notes. So scripting to attract yourself with the law of attraction or writing about their perfect match without having to think about someone. Sometimes you attract the perfect match into your life with these manifestation techniques. So that can be a hint as well. <laughs> Could be someone who's drinking something healthy because I'm seeing water here. So they may be taking care of their health or that could be water energy. So to let you know with the zodiac, because that can also be a hint for you, we have air energy with the sword. We have right there water, Gemini. That's all I can see here. So air, water, Gemini, especially on the cards. So I'm now going to be showing you places. These places can be where you are going to be meeting this person, maybe where this person works at, or anything, because everything can be very symbolic and very personal to you. So first we have the watch shop. So this can be about timing as a symbolic. So waiting for the perfect time to be with each other. Maybe that's what they are doing. Before making a move, they're finding the right strategy. And when they feel ready, when this person will feel ready, they will make a move towards you. So timing is important. And I feel like that's also because that's the sign to happen at a certain time. And I'm seeing 111 while saying this. So that's a big yes. Art gallery. So painting. Let me see. And I love that on the sign right here, you can see the family at the top, like right there. <laughs> so that can be related to the image of your future. And it's funny because you have a family, so a couple holding each, other's, uh, holding each other's hand and the house next to it, which is what you could see on the lover's card. If you are a painter or if you use the art to manifest, that's telling you to only paint what you want in your reality. For example, if you are an artist, if you paint, if you write, if you perform a role, always keep in mind that what you embody, what you create, because that's projecting yourself as a form of art and creation, that's manifesting everything into your life. So if you paint yourself as being single and sad and lonely, then you manifest that energy into your life. So if you want to manifest something that's a lot more positive and bright and beautiful for you to experience, then maybe starting to paint couples together, passion together, I don't know, just do something creative because you are also attracting things while doing your, your own craft, which is magic to me as well. Art is magic. And this one is jewelry. So it could be someone who is working at that type of place or that is very about luxury. They may love to look good. They may love to buy luxury jewels, um, anything like this, maybe watches that are very expensive or they may just have a, a passion about <laughs> watches. You know, some people it's about shoes, some people it's about dresses. I don't know, maybe paint as well anything that's calling you. But this can be very symbolic as well. This person may be your diamond. This person may be so beautiful and perfect to you that you can see them as someone who is like your luxury, as someone who is valuable to you. I like that. So now couple cards. So let's see the energy between you. Oh my goodness. It's so connected to what I just said. Long distance. And you can see the, um, the train right here. Wait a second. We talked about this. Yes. I talked about this, like seeing this person at the window. And look at that. They're taking different trains, but they see each other. Well, they may see each other at the right time, if not right now. So they may see you from the distance. They may want to confess to you because you can see the paper 
flying right there at the window. So that can be telling you a message from the distance. So I don't know, maybe writing to you or just thinking about you all the time and you receive that message as telepathy. Could be. But there's some distance here. And this doesn't have to be too far like I shared because you know, it can be just someone from the next city or in the same city and just taking the train and, and then working at different places. There's some type of distance here. But long distance could be a thing. This can be an artist with the cassette, so especially music here. We had the painter, we have music. Could be someone who is working at a shop with jewelries, what else? And jewelries is also about creation. This can be designing things, objects as well. Mm, so yeah, music. It could also be a hint, listening to the same music or wanting to share the same melody when it comes to love. Your heartbeat is going to beat at the same time, for example, that's the type of melody you are looking for. At least this is what this person is looking for with you. Admiration. They admire yourself. From the distance or when they will have the chance to be sleeping next to you, then they will just look at you with so much love. This is very cute. <laughs> and I, oh my goodness, I swear I'm discovering the cards with you all the time. So yes, you will be cute. That's the cute couple. That shows in the energy. I mean, you could see that's very soft. Yes, that's a boss lady or a boss and that's a leader, but still they have this this energy which is very fun. You know, childlike energy. Which is great because I feel like you always need that inner child within to have fun in life. Otherwise, you know, being an adult is not always so fun. And waking up next to each other. I mean, you could see yourself falling asleep next to each other and then waking up and just that will be their happiness i mean look at the way he is looking at her so much love tenderness care and happiness that this is happening that's like a gift and that's what i could see with the, the jewelry like feeling like that's the diamond you know that i'm able to experience while being with this person it's not about honing a diamond, it's about just being around it, feeling the energy, connecting with the diamond. But do I hone the diamond? No. I just honor this diamond's presence. And that's how it feels like. So now the message. Thoughts of you dance through my mind, knowing it is just a matter of time. It is just a matter of time and we have to watch shop if this isn't clear. Wow, I love that. And with the steps, I'm seeing this as ascension again, building something. So if not buying a house or getting a place together, that can be the symbolic building a relationship together. So let's see more messages for this group. So maybe what this person wants to say to you advice, anything. Spend a little time in silence every day and eventually the mind also quiets down. So maybe that's some advice if you've been overthinking, thinking too much. Create a life you can't wait to wake up to. Align and trust. Deep in the secret chambers of my heart. Yes, they are keeping things secret. We talked about this with this card. So it's very connected. Capture this moment. All right, so let's see now with the next techniques. I'm just gonna be moving these. Okay, so starting with this grid um, and seeing Maybe what is the zodiac sign of this person, the energy of this person. So this can be the zodiac, sun, moon, rising, you name it. <laughs> so let's see. Okay, so first we have Libra. 
This could also be related to a bit of a uh, Virgo. We have Sagittarius, Pisces, and Aries, especially. So I'm gonna be continuing now with this grid and the charms. So let's see. Wow, right away I have, oh my god. <laughs> so that can be like when they see you like, shh. Who created this beautiful woman or man? I don't know, <laughs> but they want to reach you, as you can see. We have USA, so that can be where you live or where this person lives. Um, we have cool. That can be about opening a bottle of wine. I mean, this is more about beer to me. I don't drink, so that's why I'm not an expert in this. <laughs> Anyways. Um, so I'm seeing ascension with a triangle, so making a move, making things improve in this relationship. This can be a bit slow in the beginning with this, with this turtle, but the turtle is about protection. So in order for you to, to feel safe, they will take their time to confess to you or connect with you, which can be about that C, confession. I heard quest for this one, but also question. So you may have a lot of questions or they may have a lot of questions to ask yourself. So if you communicate with someone, it could be that you feel like they are really interested to get to know you. So this is about passion with the feather. With the hand, especially like this, this is about reaching for something. And we had reach right here so in my opinion that's showing this they want to reach you they want to connect with you they want to share their passion with you this is about protection and growth and that was protection with a turtle so that shows they really want to feel safe but also to make you safe when being around um this is about making a move again or well, that can also be a practice ascension having all the tools that they need to be making that work, to make it work between you two. And yes, maybe sharing a drink, if you drink, of course. If not, that can be a smoothie <laughs> or a juice. You know, that's still tasty. That's my type anyway. <laughs> All right, so let's move on with the stickers now. Let's see more hints. Okay, right away we have the dancer. The dancer is about elegance, practice, mastery, but also stability. Wow, we have two dancers. But of course, this can also be what you do or what they do run to you. I mean, they are wanting to be with you. They're craving for this. I love travel. We talked about long distance. This is about you're know, feeling shy when confessing or when talking to the person. Like even just talking on the phone may actually make you blush. Or, you know, you just feel nervous a little bit. And that's why. Um, this is about confession with a bouquet. But, I mean, you can see they're rushing to you. They want to be with you. They want to travel to you. They want to share more time with you. And I'm seeing two creatives here because... Like one is painting, as you can see, painting with a palette. And here is someone who's using another t another palette, I believe. Yes, another palette. So that can be someone who's teaching them what they enjoy as a passion. So for example, it could be one that is a dancer and the other one that's a painter. So sharing each other's passion being interested to get to know more things, to discover more things together. That's the vibe here. So this is all I have for you today. I hope you like this reading. Let me know in the comments down below what you think. If you're new to this channel, make sure to subscribe down below and join our beautiful family. And I will see you on my next reading. Take good care of you.